Hello everybody, I'm Donna from Purple Pinky Promises. Welcome. You are live and central at old people bantering. <laughs> things. <laughs> he took it off to go wash it and he can't find it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, he doesn't know what he did with it. We're live. Oh, hi live. <laughs> I'm John. How are you doing? Hello everybody. Uh, I'm missing a basket now. No, it's in a front seat. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Good evening. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I told them that they were at old people that uh, old people bantering central. <laughs> anyway, so that problem is now solved. You won't hear us banter anymore. <laughs> Actually, you never I'm did. Free. We're banter free now. He took one of my shaker talk cards that I was I needed to mend. I thought you seen and he that. dumped it all over the floor. <laughs> I didn't yeah. have time to seal it at customers in the store. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is this is this is real life over at Purple. Pur uh, yeah, can't even say my own store name. Purple Pinky Promises. Purple Punchy Promises. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I have just a few products I'm using today, and uh, these holiday. I'm going to use this Holiday Delights pattern paper pack as kind of the featured paper for this project. And you can actually cut out any of these to create a background like I've done. And um, most of these would work. Um, some of these I probably wouldn't use, but um, I would say most of these would work for this project. And you could get a ton of cards cut out. <laughs> actually, it's not even that expensive. They're $7.95. So you could get a bunch of cards uh, popped out. Uh, you could do 24, um, 24 cards in a pack, actually. And so, but you don't have to use this kind of paper pack. You can make cards using any sort of paper pack. We've got a frame. Oh no, what did I do with it? Oh, boo. Uh -oh. I'll be right back, folks. to go get something and retrieve it. Okay, so here we have the Holiday Sayings die. These are wonderful sentiments that can be used as a, a center focal point of your card. I used Deck the Halls, but all of these would work and you could change the orientation and have it popped in the center of your card like I'm gonna show you tonight. This is a great way to do your Christmas cards. Quick and easy using the paper, as really the, um, it's kind of like the feature, the paper is the feature, and then you have a, um, a sentiment as a focal point. These all have different things. One says peace, joy, ho, 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 deck the halls, and merry, very merry. So those are wonderful to have. They're nice size. And I created a frame using these nesting rectangle frame style. I featured the ovals last week, um, on the project that I used last week. Here are the rectangle frames. These are very nice to have. And that's all I have prepped for right, right now. And I'll just get started on this project. The first thing I am gonna do is I am going to ink up. And because we're using Catherine Pooler paper, we have inks that coordinate with these uh, papers. And the 
inks that go with this are Cotton Candy, It's a Girl, Samba, Catching Rays, Cumberbund, and Uptown. So I have picked out Samba and It's a Girl to kind of pick up that red and pink that's in this paper. And we're gonna do It's a Girl. I'm gonna get the sentiment here and ink it up and use this pink. I thought that would be really cute just to get some pink on here. And we could actually ombre it. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Most of the time I think ombre goes dark on the bottom and then light up. We're gonna go opposite here. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. And we'll just go even lighter down here at the bottom. And I think that should do it. So we've got our sentiment. Hi, Linda, welcome. So that's, that's it. That's what we're gonna do for that sentiment. We're gonna pop it on the white to help it stand out and kind of separate it from our background. I think that will be super, super cute. And I'm also going to ink up. Now I would clean this up normally, but because we're going darker, I'm not gonna worry about it so much. I'm gonna take our frame and I'm gonna do it in Samba. I thought that would be fun. Um, we could do it in white, we could leave it white, but I'm gonna give Samba a try. And if I don't like it, Samba is a red with a pinkish undertone. That's why I'm not worried about the pink. So we're just gonna kinda stick with the. So I'm gonna ink this up and we're gonna have a nice matching frame for our background. This is one of the things that I do like is that you can always get your project to match when you are using these products. So it's not that big of a deal to take the extra step and in inking things up. You could do this when it was still uh, not, you can do this inking part before you cut it out but I feel like it, it does waste a little bit of paper. So I just want it on the places that I'm actually going to use. So, okay. I think that's good enough. All right, so now we have a frame. I like that. That's super cute, super fun, just very different. All right, let's see. Could you do me a favor, hon? Could you get me a, oh, could you get me a, something to wipe this up with? One of those sponges over there at the sink, please. Sponges? Yep, thank you. Okay. You know, the right. chamois, the chamois. Wet? wet, please, yes. Okay, wet sponges coming up. Thank you. I pulled out these Lapland, this Lapland sequin mix because it actually is supposed to coordinate very nicely with it. So, um, I thought I had, I think I accidentally priced one of these. Blue here. Can't get that off. There we go. Now we're open. So these are these are super pretty. Um, so these are pretty. Don't throw them at me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, my hands will be fing my fingers will be red now. It's a good thing I'm not working tonight. All right. Saw that video of that kid that reminded me of Joshua sticking his head in the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gotta have kids, you know. Yep, get to work. Um if if Amy was on here, she would say, get to work, slacker. <laughs> That's what Amy sorry, so would yeah, Amy so would say, get to work, slacker, wouldn't she? Amy so is not a slacker. Amy, stop being hard on yourself like that. Okay, you're not a She's slacker. not on here. I said if she was on here. Oh, okay. Well, if she was on here, of course she's Christ not a slacker. Listen to me. Okay, so we're going to start with the Moving sentiment. On. And I'm just going to kind of get a feel for where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to take some twine and I'm going to give it a 
I don't normally wrap it. I normally just, um, yeah, we can go center. I think I am gonna go center with it. Put the in the center. Um, let's just do this. One, two, three. About right here, center, right? Is that good enough? I say it's good enough. I'm one of those just slap it on there by the fly by the seat of your pants, people. Okay. Let's start here. Pull this up. I'm gonna start like that. And now we're gonna get this kind of center. Yeah, that's good enough. I like to crisscross. How many of you like to do that when you're putting twine? I like crisscrossing. And then crisscross applesauce. Get something fun and different going. There is that. And then I'm going to tie a bow. And you could do a single, but I think I'm gonna do, I might do a double bow. So I'm gonna do this. Sorry guys, I just put my double-sided tape across there. Put some here. I'm gonna grab my scissors, cut it, and boom, we're done. So now we have twine in the middle. Oh, look, look who spilled sequins everywhere. No, look, look what I did. I spilled sequins everywhere. Oh, but they're not on the floor and they're not dirty. <laughs> yeah, that would be a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, lady, next time seal the car, okay? Don't leave it laying around. Now, one thing I will tell you about this ink is that it, oh. when it dries up, is that it does get lighter. So I think I'm going to go back over, possibly back, yeah. I think I'm gonna go back over it just a little bit more to kind of get it a little more, well, maybe not, maybe not. I'm gonna leave it like it is. So we're gonna do this, pop that up. I'm also going to pop up our frame. And then I'm gonna put some, um, I'm gonna put a bow right here. I'm gonna do a double bow. Stick it there. We'll throw in some sequins. We got a fun, quick card. All right, so to do a double bow, this is all I'm gonna do. I took two pieces of twine and I'm gonna put them together and I'm just gonna tie a bow, just like so. Okay, I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna do it slow. I've got my loop, I've got some of my tail. I've got a loop here. I take this side, bring it around and Pull it through, and voila. Sometimes they bows cooperate, sometimes they don't. So I'm gonna try it again. Hmm. See, even I can get a miss when it comes to tying a bow. There we go. I don't want it that big. I just want a small, fun bow. And I did it double. I'm, sometimes I make them different lengths, but this one I'm gonna make the same because I want it to be a little thick, have it look a little thick. Super cute. Um, we could do it a little further over. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. So now I'm gonna glue these together. Perfect. And now John is going to teach us how to count. Um, I'm sorry. You know, I, you know, I can't get three on these. Uh, like I, for me too. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to need more of these. I only counted some of those for Are two. Right here? Yeah. 
Nope. Just okay. hold on and I'll get it. Are you done with that? No, I'll find it. Uh, no. I have three more strips left, so, so I'll, I'll... By the time I'm done with this, I'll, I'll get it for you. I'm almost done with this. Yeah, I know you don't believe me, but I'm, I really am almost done. Okay, Hi, Jackie. Welcome. Um, Pretty soon, John's going to have to stop counting. He's on 18. He has I'm only 10 fingers and 10 toes. Hey, honey, I'm sorry that you're bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, guys. Yep, now y'all know. Just keeping it real. Y'all know. <laughs> now y'all know. He's ornery. Just keeping it real, people. Okay. What did I do here? There we go. <laughs> He's only got ten, ten. Jackie said you had to stop counting soon because you only have 10 fingers and 10 toes. I just want you to know, guys, this is what she puts up with every day. So be thankful. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to not put this on just yet. I'm going to go with one layer. I think that should be enough. And I'm only going to put it down here. I'm not going to put any in the middle, just down here and at the top because we have that twine that sits there. There we go. And I'm going to cut this up a little so we can do this and this. Um we will not be live next week, just to let you know. Now he has to start over. <laughs> He's going to have to start counting again. I know, and it's all my fault. <laughs> so next week, we will not be live on YouTube. It will be YouTube turn. But we will not be live next week because we have an event. Well, I might be able to squeeze a live in, possibly. We'll see how it goes. It might be a little too much because we are probably going to be prepping, getting um, the store ready to do a, an event. We're doing a collaborative event with Bee Creek up the street, pumpkin carving, and we'll have a little um, a craft that we're doing down here. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to bring this down here. There we go. So my the, I want it in the center. And that looks good to me. There we go. So we've got deck the halls. La 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 la. All right, you didn't tune in to hear me sing, right? Okay. We will pop our twine on here. But honestly, folks, this is a quick and easy idea for your Christmas cards because sometimes we get started late. <laughs> and if we, um, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and put that on at the end. I am going to take some, um, Eh, I should have moved over a little. Oh, well, it's fine. So, I am going to... I should use this. I'm going to be cutting quite a bit. So, I'm going to cut into this. And I'm going to cut it in... If I cut it in half, it's probably going to be the right size. So, I'm going to cut it in half-ish. And I'm going to use this for our frame. Pop that 
on. I do have some foam, but because we're putting twine around this, I don't want foam all the way around, so this is why I've opted to do this. spot here that I missed. It's in the light and now I can see that I've missed it. Did not quite get it dark enough. And I know myself well enough to know I better clean that up or it's going to get on my project. started off too thick on one end here, so I'm going to have to trim it a little. This would work if it were exactly in half, but I think I can do it. I think I'm... So one thing I need to pay attention to is where I'm going to be at the halfway point, and I don't want... I'll trim it. Actually, I think it's going to be okay. I think John's going to break into song too. He really can sing. But he can't hear himself sing right now because he's got his headphones in. <laughs> this is what I put up with. All right. There should be a meme about people who sing with headphones in. It, I'm thinking there should be a meme somewhere about that. Isn't there a meme? Whoops. That works. That solved itself. just watching the boring part me putting foam around the edges it's like no fun <laughs> normally I would have a foam that can go around the edge I do have carry that in the store but I um, I've got to watch the twine the part where I put the twine here so we definitely don't want that foam there so I'm almost around the edge I'm almost there I don't think it's going to do it completely. I think I need a bigger. Oh, my tape, my cutter is not there. Okay, let's go here. Almost there. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> If you'd been here earlier, you, you, you would have missed the, the, you missed the tail end of our old people banter. <laughs> this is really sticky stuff, by the way, just so. But we, he found what he was looking for. It wasn't me that he was looking for either. 
Right, Ann? I feel like that's a song, isn't it? Okay, we did it. Now the difficult part is going to be putting this on here, holding my mouth straight. So, you know what we're going to do? I think I got it all off, don't I? Oh, this one needs to come off. And this one needs to come off. <laughs> John was counting for our... He's die-cutting for classes. What? <laughs> See? He's you? over here thinking I was talking to him and I'm talking to you guys. This is definitely old people. Uh, this I is senior, you. senior conversations at Purple Pinky Promises. <laughs> Would be on the video scene here too. <laughs> so if I'm putting glue on here, it does give you a little wiggle room when you're putting it down so that you can move it. That's why I'm doing that. And also putting this up on an edge like so. If I can get all this off of here, this would be nice. Helps as well to kind of line up things. So we're going to stick this right here in this corner. My glue doesn't dry by then. That helps. That helps a lot. Okay, I have some places where I have some foam sticking out and I feel like I can take care of that by just kind of going in there and trimming it off like so. Just make sure you don't cut into your paper. Now, now all we have to do is um, Get our sequins in there, and we are good to go. Okay. No, I did. I didn't miss it over here. I, I caught the twine just a little, but this foam will be just fine with it. It's good. Yay! Okay, I'm very happy with that. So let's see what we have going on here. We've got some. Sequin here. We could do a sequin here. That would be cute. Some red. Put that there. Y'all think it needs it? It may not even need any sequins. What about that? I feel like they're getting lost. Maybe just these white ones here and there. You could do that. Uh, these would make a great shaker for. Um, For this paper pack it, it does coordinate the slap land does coordinate so uh, it would be fantastic for that let's do a just a few yeah let's do the white i like that that adds just the touch that it needs um, bring that down because we're going to put our bow over there that's right here and then we'll just add one more small and bring it over here and then we'll probably yeah I like that let's do that so let's get our bow in here bring it over here 
just a little further over. And there we are. That's cute. Let's get that off. Can I shorten this? Oh, I like it. Oops, now all my sequins are falling. <laughs> Whoopsie. I got a little excessive with the glue. Imagine that. There we go. That should do it. And do this one up here. Just a little more over, and I think that does it. Yes. So you've got some, just a little bit of touch of some sparkle in there, and that's super cute. We'll put this on our card front and be done. Woot woot. Really quick and easy. Wait till he forgets your recording and says something embarrassing. I think that's already happened. <laughs> because this is John we're talking about. <laughs> I feel like it's already happened. Hasn't it, hun? He was over here humming and singing and I think he forgot that I was live. He was just in his own little world humming and singing and he couldn't hear himself sing. So he was humming off tune. That's the point at which I said, I think there's a meme about people who hum and sing when they can't hear themselves. And you'd be actually shocked to know he can actually sing very well. There it is. See, I could have used my corner again, but I didn't. And there it is. Oh, thank you. I know you missed it. You totally missed it. It was total karaoke in here for a moment. <laughs> Yay. All right, folks. So that is a way to, I mean, it, I didn't hardly do anything to this card at all. I, seriously, it was not a lot of work. It was super, super simple and easy to do. And that paper just really does a lot of work for the card. If you get some really pretty pattern paper in there, um, matching frame, a sentiment, some twine, and some sequins, you're good to go. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Um, hold on, let's make sure I didn't miss anybody's. All right. I think I got everybody. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week. Take care. We got to get to work on class for tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>